So guys, this is Nesro for my vlog number 14. Um, today we're going to be talking about a lot of things, uh, a lot of things, and some of those things are what I forgot to talk about in uh, vlog number 13. So to start it off, what I forgot was uh, the code, my code B qualifier number 2, the, how it went. Um, we we had to play me and major on Saturday, so basically every every code day or code B qualifier it's called code B among screens every code B qualifier there's four times that you can play there's uh, day one and day two and there's morning and afternoon uh, me and major got uh, afternoon um, so we got there in the morning and uh, we had to wait until like 3 p.m. Um, so when we got there we uh, we went to eat to McDonald's we were with a uh, slug me major a guy from FXO called unstable he went there to record some videos um, and uh, we actually met the Chinese players uh, Max said uh, Shigua and their manager and uh, who else did we meet? We met Choya. Todd was there. He lost to Tails, MVP Tails. Uh, I met Coach Lee. He was there with uh, a lot of his players uh, Symbol, uh, TSL, Serrano, now na name Value. Um, so yeah, we played in the afternoon. Um, I ended up uh, having to play uh, Fnatic Moon. He's a Warcraft 3 legend. For you guys that don't know what Warcraft 3 is, Warcraft 3 was an RTS game. Uh, it's a lot different than StarCraft 2. You basically add heroes and they would go around the map, gather items and level up and you'd have some units and then you'd have some epic battles. Um, but it would it was a lot more low s small scale than StarCraft 2 because you had like 10 to 20 units. Anyway, <laughs> so I ended up playing him. Uh, the computers were really laggy. That's something that happened in the first qualifier, but uh, this qualifier, they were so laggy. Like, uh, I remember in game one against Moon, like, I would see his creep, and my computer would start lagging, and then it'd be really hard to blink. Uh, but I won game one, and then game two, um, it was on uh, Belcher Beach, and uh, I had like no practice by partners before the Code B qualifier. So my practice on Belcher, since it's not a ladder map, was really really bad. So I ended up losing that game really poorly. And then game three, I ended up what kind of I ended up doing a Sentry Stalker all, all in, which I never do, but I almost win. But I wasn't careful enough with my sentries. I was on Cloud Kingdom and I ended up losing. So it was really I was really sad because, you know, Moon is it would have been nice to have him under my belt and to pass a round of code B qualifier. But it didn't happen. Um we ended up leaving and uh, we met Trimaster, Complexity Trimaster. That was the only foreigners that were there that day was me, Major and Trimaster. Uh, on day two, I didn't go, but there was Nama, there was Dead Angel, there was Jinro, Hey Pro, Sase. I should have gone. <laughs> um, something else I've missed in the in the other vlog is uh, I had the opportunity to met Flash. Now, for those of you that don't know who Flash is, he's a uh, he's a StarCraft One <laughs> legend. Here again, he's a P the Koreans call him God. Basically, he. His salary is like 200k a year, without bonuses, and uh, he like barely loses. He's really famous, and the slog, uh, one of the guy in the gum house, is a good friend of him because of other stories, for another time. And um, so we ended up going to a pro league. Now pro league is just like uh, the gum TV matches, except it's in a mall and. There's room for like 200 people in the audience, and we actually showed up late, so we didn't have a ticket to sit. So it wasn't like a real, it wasn't like a real experience, just because um, we couldn't really sit and like watch. But I took my camera, I recorded some videos, 
we recorded a video of meeting Flash. That'll be on my YouTube soon. Uh, I'm, I just released the Gum TV video, so I'm gonna wait a bit and then release that one. And um, but yeah, I met Flash. It was <laughs> it was kind of nice, you know. Like uh, he didn't speak any English, so it was more like a lot of smiling and nodding and. Uh, but yeah, there's a picture on my Facebook. Uh, <laughs> I'm quite proud of having to met him. Uh, something I didn't mention, or did I? Now, moving on. So that was in the last log that I forgot. But moving on, right after, or right before the last log, I think, I ended up uh, going to meet Huck uh, at the OGS house. Uh, <laughs> it was really weird, like... Because I went there alone, so the taxi driver tried to hustle me, and he spoke a little bit of English. Like, he didn't start the counter for the ride, and then when we got there, he's like, How much do you think you should pay me? I'm like... And Slug told me it shouldn't cost more than 15 bucks. So it's like... Well, my friend said I, it shouldn't cost more than 20 He's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. So I ended up giving him $20, and then... Like... I didn't ask for directions when I got there, so I was like, dude, there's two giant buildings, like, how am I supposed to know where Huck is? So I found a waffle place, that I, the computer that had a Wi-Fi, and then I ended up messaging Huck on Facebook chat, and I was like, man, this place is huge, where are you? I'm at the waffle place. So he ended up picking, ended up coming to pick me with uh, General and April, and we went to eat to a barbecue place. Well, the barbecue place was really good. Um, that was the first time meeting uh, Jinro in April. I've met Huck previously at the Gum Studio, but we never like went out on a meal. So uh, he's like a really big troll. He's really nice. He pro is he pro is funny in his in his own way, and uh, Jinro is an interesting person as well. And uh, so we went to eat. Then after that, we wanted to drink. Now at first we wanted to get ice cream, but then we were like, okay, well, we might go drink, and then Uck wanted to play pool, so we got in a pool place, but it looked too professional for him, so he pussied out, then we, we we tried to find a bar, which we really didn't, we ended up going to a, like, soju place, which we had to buy a pizza to be able to drink there, so basically we ended up eating a seafood pizza while drinking uh, soju with juice, and, um, it was pretty interesting, after that, <laughs> after, like, I'm, I'm too stubborn, like, after that, we were done, like, I'm like, okay, show me where the door for OGS is, so he showed me, like, the building, like, next time if I go, I can just go ring there, or whatever, and, um, he's like, do you want me to help you find a cab, and I'm so stubborn, I'm like, no, man, it's a cab, how hard can it be? It's like, okay, fine. And then he left me there, and then it took me, like, 30 minutes of walking, and, like, you know, like, every time I would see a cab, I was like, and then it was, like, taken, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but I ended up getting back home. Anyway, um, so there's uh, this barbecue girl. Uh, it's, it's Bulgogi. It's not the orange place. And the videos I make, it's not the orange place. It's we call it bulgogi, uh, because it's really good meat. And uh, there's a barbecue girl, and every time we went, she always like smile at me more, and uh, even like touch my shoulder and stuff. And uh, you know, <laughs> she doesn't speak English, but I always like look at her and smile really hard. And she's like, we went there once, and Major like tried with her. Uh, tried to get her, her phone number, and then Slug asked, would you like more, Major or him? And she said, me. And then when Major asked for the phone, she said, like, no. So, uh, I think I won the battle. But now I, I have to win the war. So I'll try to uh, bring her flowers and ask for her phone number. But she doesn't speak English, which makes it uh, <laughs> very awkward and complicated to even attempt anything, you know. Um, some people have been asking uh, what kind of food I eat and the cost and what I eat. Uh, if only I didn't have to worry about food. Basically, uh, every day is a struggle because <laughs> you have to go find your own food. Uh, usually what I'll do is I'll wake up, either go to barbecue, which costs me like 8 to $10, which is like a bowl of rice and some meat and vegetables like onions and lettuce and... Then I would go practice, 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 eat a bowl of cereal, practice, 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 and then go um, after or before gym. 
uh, go eat to tasty food, which is like either like pork cutlet with rice or like a small steak with a rice and a an egg, or even the soup place, which is like dumpling soup with rice cake. Um, so it costs me in between like ten to twenty dollars a day, most of the time twenty dollars a day, sometimes more if I drink coffee. Try, that's why I try to drink uh, instant coffee because it's cheaper. But you know, it's life is uh, life is hard. Um, few things I've played: Coca and GYP on ladder, and uh, you know the game versus GYP was close. I you know I'm getting there. Just y you can't make it happen overnight. You know, people expect a lot out of me, but you know, realistically, I've only been here three months. Uh, it's hard because every player is good on a ladder and like I feel like I'm not progressing but the real reason is there's more Brood War Pro switching so like you know I'm not like going up a rank even though I am just because there's more players so it's just really hard hopefully I keep sometimes I play on autopilot it's just gonna keep thinking and just try to do my best every time um, so, uh, at some point, I think a week or two ago, I went to practice to the Fnatic house for a night. Ton invited me because Alive and uh, Rain were gone for MLG. And uh, they have a really nice house. Uh, maybe I'll link the video of the house in the comment section, maybe, if I feel nice and <laughs> not too lazy to do it. Um, but yeah, they have a really nice house. The only unfortunate thing is their chairs are really nice, except if you got a big ass, and I got a big ass, and <laughs> after like six hours, I was like, well, I'm done practicing. I can't sit anymore. <laughs> That's really sad. And after that, we went to a really sick Italian place. It's called Vapiano. Apparently, like... So I was like really pumped. Like I come back to the grandma's, I'm like, yeah, I mean, Todd went to a really sick Italian place. And then Caldor comes and he's like, nah, it's not a nice place. It's really standard. It's a chain in Germany. It's like, I was really happy. And then it's like, you know, I was a little kid. And then someone came and told me that there was no Santa Claus. You know, there was no, like, Tooth Fairy. <laughs> so on that note, screw Caldor. And uh, so basically, Va Piano is, they give you a, like, a card or a scanning card and then you have the menu then you decide what you want and then there's a pizza bar salad bar and um, pasta bar then be, you go to the bar you want you tell them okay I want this you scan and then they cook it and then they give you a buzzer and then when it's done the buzzer buzz you go get it you eat, there's a dessert or a bar, you scan if you want something, and you go drink, and then at the end, you scan your card, and then they tell you how much it costs. So I, I thought the concept was kind of cool, you know, I've never seen a place like this. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe if you guys are interested in seeing it, maybe I could record a video. There's actually uh, uh, two malls I want to record. It's uh, Techno Mart and D-Cube City. D-Cube City is really sick. Um, there's TGI Fridays there. I went to eat there a few times with Todd. So, on another note, uh, Dan Angel arrived at the Gamma House, I think, a week ago. He's so nice. He's Romanian. So, every time he talks, it's kind of like listening to a story of its own. Uh, he was living at a Pro S house, which, which was called the RS house, which is now a League of Legends house. Um, basically, what the Pro S house is, is a house for amateur and uh, like the good players didn't have to pay anything. The the average players had to pay like 200, 300 for like the food and stuff. And they would have an house ranking every month. And the the like lowest house ranking guys had to leave. They could come back like later, but they had to leave like for a month, so new guys could come in. Um, but yeah, then Angel and Nama was there, but they had to leave. Uh, Nama went back to Europe. Then Angel had to leave because it's now a League of Legends house. Uh, a few days ago, I went to TGI Fridays with Todd, Caldor, and then Angel. And uh, th there wasn't anything uh, particular about that meal except... Okay, so... 
it was pouring really hardcore, <laughs> like insane, like you know, like you know, it was Africa and you know, no one had water for like you know two months, and then there was like you know raining. Okay, so that's how hard it was raining, and then we were about to cross the street. And then, you know, like, the street, there's, like, a counter, right, with arrows, and it was a half, but it's a China street, it's like, you cross once, you cross once, you cross once, you know, there's, like, three ways for cars, and I didn't want to slip, like, if I slip, like, you know, I'm kind of heavy, so I, I don't want to break my back, or hurt myself, or, you know, so I, like, hesitated the first time just because I didn't want to slip and then I started running started running and then at the last stop I could have gone but I like it just started like going green for the cars so like I hesitated and then I stayed there for like three minutes and it was pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring like <laughs> and then we ended up going to TGI Fridays and I was just like entirely wet it was like insane so it was kinda cool it was a nice life experience um, so lately, I talk about Coca and JYP, but that was like, close to a month ago, I guess, maybe, or something. But recently, the results have been having, um, so I played the EWM Weekly, it's a Code A online, or Code B online qualifier, and I played FXO XD, uh, which he, who he, whatever that guy he, lo he lost in the finals of a code B qualifier to Bomber um, so he's like really good and I lost to him 1-2 it was like really close game and like if I would have had more experience on Daybreak like I had my turd up my 2-2 two -two was halfway done uh, I had like 10 more probes and he, d he just started his turn and the only thing he could do to come back and end the game was Doom drop me but I was out of position and I didn't have like probes or pylons spread well enough to spot the doom drop and then he doom dropped me in one but like I said 2-2 two, two halfway done my third was finished his third just started like anyway so I ended up losing 1-2 I started <laughs> I played a bit on uh, NA last week or like a couple of days ago uh, on a smurf I'll actually release some replays for subscribers on my twitch channel and uh, I ended up sniping a few players. I snipe and beat Edra, Idra 3 2, Cats 1 2, and Chef 2 0. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was fun, you know, like, because you play on Korean server, like, you know, all day, all month, all week, and it's so damn hard, you know, so many good players. You always, like, have to do your best, and then you come on an A, and, you know, even with delay, you just do builds that they're not used to, and then, like, just like that. Um, so, f last few topics, I know I've been ranting for a while now. Last few topics, today I went to get a haircut, which I think, um, which I think I got a bit slaughtered. <laughs> I've, given up, I've given up on trying to get a good haircut in Korea. Like, seriously, it's... It's impossible. But anyway, I got a haircut with Major and then Angel, and Slug was on the phone translating for that Angel and Major, like, okay, he wants this and that. So, um, and this weekend, Caldor has gone for IPL, so I'll be making some uh, YouTube tutorials, PVZ builds, PVT builds, how to analyze your own replay. Uh, the reason is I used to work for Hotkey.com, but they're cutting down on the number of coaches, and I was let go. <laughs> Which doesn't really bother me because now you guys get free content, which is gonna be on my YouTube. So make sure to subscribe because I know like every vlog I make, right? I get like five thousand, like three to five thousand views, and then I look at my number of subscribers on YouTube and I get like seventeen hundred. I'm like, come on, guys, you know? Just like it's a click. It makes me feel more happy before I go to bed. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I wasn't too desperate, and you guys are gonna subscribe. Now this weekend, today's Friday, this weekend, on Sunday, I'll be going to the Brood War Finals. Slug is a big shot and got, a, got us some VIP tickets, so we'll be front row. I'll be having my camera. Hey guys, this is this row from the Brood War Finals. So uh, hopefully I'll have some good video to release on my YouTube and I'll also talk about the experience on my vlog. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, the social media part. 
Uh, if you guys, you know, want to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash uh, If you want to li like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash If you want to follow my stream, twitch.tv slash If you want to subscribe to my stream for $5 a month to have no commercials and have almost weekly replay packs. It's $5 a month. It helps me. And um, one more thing. Two is Max Frag. They're awesome. They're supporting me, and uh, you know, if for them to keep supporting me, they need some traffic. They need you know me to help them, like just like they're helping me. So, if you want to take a minute of your time, MaxFrag.net. They basically sell uh, sell Mumble and Ventrilo servers. So uh, check it out uh, if you need Ventrilo. Basically, Ventrilo is like. It's it's like Skype, but it's more like a hangout place. It's like it's really useful if you play like team games or WoW or even if you have a clan like a StarCraft two clan. But you know, because the thing with the, the difference between Skype and Vent is you don't have to commit and venture though. You can just join the server, go to AFK channel hang out in a room and wait for people to come. And Skype, you have to commit to making a call. And you're like, okay, I have to go. And then, I don't know. Venture is, is more convenient, in my opinion. So, we'll make sure And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, I don't take another month to make another vlog. <laughs> Peace.